Alright guys, in this next series of videos we are going to implement a pretty cool jQuery plugin called JPanel Menu. Now uh, JPanel Menu does, well, just this. It uh, creates a nice little menu for you that um, hides and appears uh, based on the whatever you want to click, a text, an icon, whatever it's going to be. Now. Um, I think this kind of style menus become really popular uh, in mobile applications and um, so that's why we're going to implement it in our own uh, like picture picture widget uh, application or, or widget rather uh, because you know it sort of shows the flexibility of our implementation I mean we just have some images that move around but in reality they could be anything they could actually be different div containers full of information like uh, like everything you see um, or like rather anything you see in a mobile app so um, by the way J panel menu actually works really well on mobile too so it's worth your while to check out how it works in uh, that environment. So uh, let's just start by well recapping where we're going to start off from. Now, if you recall, I created Once a you're video finished with uh, number twelve of twenty-three video uh, discussing the implications. There we go. This is this is the code base, or this is the video that I had you guys work up to, and in that video. Um, I created a duplicate of my project files and I um, at that part I just named it uh, project one without CSS for forked project um, essentially the reason I'm mentioning this is just to let you know my starting point um, in uh, developing this um, this menu um, I've gone gone ahead and brought that folder um, right to the desktop over here so you could see it easily and here you go I have what is essentially an unstyled uh, menu uh, mine does work and that's all that really matters and what we're gonna do is convert this menu over here into this bad boy over here so okay well, let's get started um, Oh, also worth noting, rather, before I go on, is that I did set it up in Dreamweaver, and I set up the project files and all that business in uh, under Manage Sites, so um, you guys will take care of that uh, on your own. Um, well, first order of business is, well, we're going to need JPanel Menu, and if... Uh, you could just Google JPanel Menu or go to jpanelmenu.com, and this is what you should see. At the time of this video, we're at 130. Um, maybe by the time you get it, it'll be, uh, I don't know, 277 or something. I don't know. And that'll be next month. Uh, things change so quickly, but hopefully they don't change and break things. So um, I will go ahead and download JPanel Menu. I can't actually download it but here it is for me so when I get here I'll just do a file save page as and I'll save it right as the JPanel menu and uh, I'll go to my desktop project and I'll just put it right in the root with everything else okay so far so good let me go to Dreamweaver and open up my photo widget and um, nothing complicated here here's my code that links my script so um, after jQuery and before my custom script I'm gonna pop in this other guy and let's see um, uh, maybe I'll just do this shortcut and let there we go so I don't mess up the file name alright beautiful and there we go and now before I do something silly let me give it a quick preview in Firefox just to make sure that I've properly linked to it okay 